Well, hello there, guys. What is going on? My name is Nick Bunny, and happy Thanksgiving, or happy the day after Thanksgiving, also known as the day that you are probably in a food coma, or happy Black Friday, or the day that you spend a lot of money, or the day that you wish you would spend a lot of money if you had the money, so you're just gonna look at the deals that you would have bought if you had the money, but you don't have the money because you're broke, so you're pretty upset about that day. Happy that day to you as well. I have experience in all those things that I just mentioned. I went to Black Friday for several years. I would go there at 8 p.m. on Thursday and wait till the next morning when it opened at 6 or 7. I went to Best Buy, Micro Center, Circuit City, Fries, all these stores at the time. And if I got a good deal, I would buy a bunch of stuff. However, I've also been on the other side of the scale where I didn't have any money. So for Black Friday, I would just sit at home and look at deals online and I would be like, oh, that is such a good deal. I would totally buy that if I had the money, but I didn't have the money, so I had to suck it up. However, recently, I have reached the ultimate Black Friday state of mind. I don't care. And I'm not saying this to be insensitive to the people that did go Black Friday and do their shopping, because it is a pretty cool experience. Like, if you've never done it, you should totally do it one time. If you have friends, if you don't have friends, don't do it, because you're gonna get really bored waiting in line there for a bunch of hours. But if you have friends, it's gonna be a ton of fun. It's just that I've decided to do most of my electronic shopping online, because there's less hassle, and if you buy from a trusted website like Amazon or Newegg, you're not gonna get screwed over. And on Black Friday, the things that have most percentage off they're not usually the best brand and if you want to get something really good and you don't get there early they're most likely going to be out of stock or you're not going to get a coupon for it and or you're going to find the type of people that i found at the last black friday which was at best buy a couple years ago they actually went there about 3 or 4 p.m so they were the first people in line they were a big group about 10 or 15 and they set up camp they had foldable chairs they had tables they had a big umbrella in case it rained they had everything they were like prepared pro black friday errors my friends and i were a little bit behind them i think like 21 22 23 24 25 like those spots we were still in a pretty good position considering there was about 200 people waiting outside now what happens before the doors open at best buy with about an hour to go the employees come out and they pass waivers and coupons down the line so they start with the first people and they're like hey this tv you Usually sells for a thousand dollars we have it for six hundred dollars you know and we only have 20 coupons for this tv so they pass those papers down the line and people there are like oh i don't want a tv they just pass it along people that want a tv they're like i'll hold on to this and they pass those pieces of paper which are waivers they pass it down the line they do it for laptops computers tvs monitors, games they do it for everything so they're like hey we have 20 laptops here's 20 papers the people that come in with the papers they get the laptops if you don't have the paper you can not get the laptop and the idea behind it is that once you have that piece of paper you don't have to rush to the laptop place be like do where's my laptop let me get my laptop no if you have that piece of paper you can go buy it whenever you want to you can go at 4 p.m and be like hey here's a piece of paper and they'll give you the laptop but coming back to the line story what those 15 campers of head of us did is they picked up every single waiver every single coupon every single piece of paper you might be thinking like wow nick they were rich they really had a lot of money to buy a lot of things no Oh, they actually didn't even go into Best Buy. But Nick, I'm confused. What did they do with all those coupons? They waited to the side of Best Buy and tried to sell it off themselves. You might be thinking like, wait, that doesn't really sound right. Like, what are you talking about? They literally set to the side and they were like, hey, here's a coupon for a laptop that's worth $500. You can buy it for $200 and I'll give you this piece of paper if you give me $50. I kid you not, I went up to one of them and that's exactly what he told me. He was like, hey, here's a laptop for $500 that's on sale for $200 and I'll give you this little sale coupon for 50 bucks. And I was just like, ah, uh, no. Thank you. But that is one of my crazy Black Friday stories. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have a cool story that you'd like to share, go ahead and write a comment or send it to me somehow. I'm interested.